Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the affine cipher. Um, so to start, we're going to pick a K, which is our key, uh, and it is a tuple AB, uh, where A is a value between 0 and 25. Um, B also has to be a value between 0 and 25, and we also have the constraint that the greatest common divisor of A and 26 has to be 1, and I'll explain a little bit more about why that's important later. So to encrypt a message M with our key, we're going to do a times m plus b mod 26 so that we stay within the range of the alphabet. And to decrypt a ciphertext with our key, we're going to take a inverse times c minus b mod 26. Um, and a inverse is essentially the value such that a times a inverse equals 1. Okay, so let's demonstrate with a little example. So I'm going to start by writing out the alphabet above as well as the corresponding numbers 0 through 25 that map to each of the letters so that we can make the math a little bit easier on us. So to start, I'm going to pick a message to encrypt, and let's make that cat. Um, I'm going to pick an A and a B, so 7 and 5. And let's just remind ourselves of the operations we need to do to encrypt and decrypt, like we talked about a little bit earlier. And we also need to remember that GCD of A and 26 has to be 1. So this basically means that A can't be even and it can't be 13. Uh, so the value 7 will do us just fine for this example. Um, but I've really just picked A and B arbitrarily. Okay, so let's encrypt our message. So to start, we're going to encrypt the letter C. So we can write this out as 7 times 2 plus 5 mod 26. So the 7 corresponds to our a value of 7, the 5 corresponds to our b value of 5, and 2 is essentially c, uh, but the numeric correspondent. So if we do the math, we're going to get 19 mod 26, which is ultimately just 19. So if we map that to a letter, we can see that the letter that corresponds to 19 is T. So next we're going to encrypt the A in cat. So we're going to get the formula 7 times 0 plus 5 mod 26, which is 5 mod 26, which is just 5, which according to our chart is F. And lastly, we're going to encrypt the T. So there we get 7 times 19 plus 5 mod 26. So that's going to be 138 mod 26. And so here we actually do need to perform the mod. Uh, and we end up with 8. And that gives us i. So we can say that uh, ciphertext is going to be t f i. And there's our encryption. To finish, I'm just going to talk really quickly about why it's important that A satisfies the requirement that the greatest common divisor between A and 26 is 1. So here I've picked A equals 2, so clearly GCD is 2 and not 1. So let's say we want to uh, encrypt something using this A and B value. So let's pick an X of 24. So when we write out the math for this, we're going to end up with 51 mod 26, uh, and that's going to be equal to 25. Now let's say we encrypt something else using these same a and b values. Let's say we want to pick an x of 11. So we end up with 22 plus 3 mod 26, which is 25 mod 26 which is also 25. So two different x values have encrypted to the same value, which is 25. So when we need to decrypt this, uh, we're not going to know if 25 decrypts back to 24 or 11. And this is because of the a value we chose. So that's why a has to satisfy the requirement that GCD uh, of a and 26 is 1.